it's just it's just incredible. I mean, I, I'm still annoyed. I, I was sent for a, a, a RSV. My surgeon, my doctor, no. you can never see my doctor, but I, I, I guess they're getting 20 quid a go or something. And uh, the, 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 uh, they sent to tell me to come and get an RSV uh, vaccine, respiratory residual virus. Now, I, 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 I've talked to emergency doctors around the world on this, and none of them have ever seen <laughs> a case of RSV sepsis in older people. It just doesn't. It's a disease that doesn't occur, and yet, and yet, my, my doctor, who's supposed to look after my health, who wants to give me an mRNA vaccine to yeah, protect no, me against no a disease that no. doesn't exist. Did you did you tell your doctor that the uh, what's happening to the uh, young kids that are being given the messenger RNA for the RSV? I, I, um, I would have done if I got a chance to see him, but of course um, that, that that trial is suspended now. R remind well, what, me what, what what was happening? It was causing severe disease, wasn't it? 12.5% of babies, little infants, um, who were given the active uh, got life-threatening RSV infection because RS, every kid gets RSV, not once, twice, they'll get it half a dozen times. I mean, it can be quite nasty. It's not good. But oh, yeah. it's got a very peculiar type of relationship with the body's immune system. And we've known since the 1960s that you don't fiddle with RSV um, um, because... Uh, back then, with antigen vaccines, um, they, you get, uh, they were getting uh, kids dying from overwhelming RSV infection. So it's going to be a lot worse, in, in my view, uh, by putting in a, 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 a messenger RNA vaccine where you can't even control the dose or the nature of the antigen that's expressed. And that's also probably important. The fact that a vaccine got to trial that caused 12.5% of the childhood recipients who received that vaccine to get severe disease, I mean, I mean, to me, that's an unethical trial. It should never have got that far. Well, the part that I laughed at, no, I shouldn't. I'm not laughing funny. No, no, no uh, it's the ludicrousness of it. That's, yeah. It's so ludicrous that, that, yeah. that the, the vaccine trial was not just stopped. It was paused. <laughs> paused. Yeah. Incredible. Yep. And, and, and now we're giving it to older people. for. I, I know for a fact I've been exposed to RSV oh, uh, 500 times. Probably. I know that for a fact. I know that. Probably. No, I know that for a fact because I've looked after you kids. Probably had a few, you probably had respiratory tract infections more once, you know, just like yeah. coronavirus or of those. Um, we, you know, we all get, I mean, kids get, what, six to eight infection, viral infections a year. And the yeah. young ones, two or three of them, are almost certainly RSV. Oh, but I know for a fact we did because we, we used to get children in intensive care with, with RSV. Absolutely. Occasionally. Absolutely. And as, as adults, it never crossed our minds that we were at any risk of uh, hospital acquired infection, nosocomial infection from these children. Well, I've been an adult and, physician. And, and, yeah. and we, we were intubating them and sucking them out, and, you know, there was. Yeah. You know, it, no, no, no one ever got any RSV, including some clinical staff that were older. It, it was just no, no issue there at, at all. Well, you probably did, but it didn't cause you many symptoms or any symptoms. Um, uh, exactly, because, because I've been exposed to it a thousand I've been, times I've been before. A physician. I, I don't do hospital work now, but until moderately recently, I, I've been an admitting physician. Um, and I must have seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cases of pneumonia and, and respiratory tract infection. Um, I've never seen uh, an RSV infection. Of course, I've seen it, but of course, we've never bothered looking for it. And, um, uh, and even now, when they're looking for it, it's very, very uncommon. Some people apparently do get quite sick with it, um, but it's, it's certainly very uncommon. And, and the other interesting thing is that what we know about RSV infection and the immunity you get from the infection, it lasts just a few months and then you get another RSV. So it's not as though, um, and all, uh, remember always that the best a vaccine can do, except for very rare uh, uh, um, examples, uh, the best a vaccine can do is what the disease does, uh, but the vaccine supposedly gives you, gives you the protection without the, the, the symptoms of the, the infection. And then we've got the whole idea of giving systemic immunity to try and prevent against a respiratory infection, which we've, we've looked at. Well, well I think there's no, the, the idea is to stop that virus getting out of the airways. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, um, the, uh, 
if you gave a ground up virus, you'd, you'd get the same sort of protection that you did with the RSV. But in an immunologically and, uh, and COVID naive individual, you get protection. Yeah. But of course, uh, that is something that lasts around about a year. And then we've moved on three, four years from that. Now we've yep. created 